Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jeff Minnickbach. I'm the owner and founder of No Limit Creatives. And I've been wanting to do this for a while now, but I've put together uh, 10 different styles of ad creatives you can use to up your game in 2020. These are creatives we've used over the last year or so that have worked really well for uh, different uh, industries and, and businesses across the board. And um, I'm gonna just do a, a run through of each example and show you what we came up with and hopefully this will help spark some ideas for you guys in 2020 on your own ad campaigns. Um, if you're you're like me, you kind of start to get burned out after a while of, of doing the same same styles of creatives for the same businesses all the time. So after a certain point, you get kind of burned out with uh, just creative ideas and you get kind of clouded in a foggy mind. So yeah, I think it's really important that uh, you're able to look at different inspirational ideas like these to come up with new and fresh ideas for other campaigns or uh, existing campaigns that you just want to up your game on. So take a peek at this video. Any questions, comment below. I will add timestamps into the description so you can quickly fast forward to different creatives if you want. And I uh, hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. All right, we're going to dive right in here. Now uh, I have the 10 files that I want to share with you guys here. We've created all these so they are not pulled from anywhere else online. Um, and I'll just go through from one to 10 here in order and explain what we did in each one and, uh, some of them, why we did it and how it may work for you. So jumping right in, uh, example number one, ad style number one is scrolling product ad. And I'll play that here a few times so you can see it. So in this example on the left, we showed a large lifestyle image. Uh, of the bikini product, you can see it's actually changing. The bottoms are changing. We actually um, photoshopped that ourselves, but you'll see them changing here. And also the thumbnails of the different um, combinations they have, they're scrolling as well. And then we have uh, summer sale is actually bumping up and down here um, to just kind of draw some attention to the sale text below it. So, any kind of products you sell, this would be a really great way to uh, grab attention immediately with all these moving pieces. And then you actually have the opportunity here on the left to show uh, the different styles or combinations that you guys may sell. Not a lot to it. This was created in Photoshop. Actually, everything was created in Photoshop except uh, the number 10 example, which I'll show you at the end. But we like to mock these up in Photoshop in, in different layers first to kind of storyboard the idea and go from there. So, again, if you have products, uh, this could actually work for services too. If you're a, um, maybe you're a, a plumber or something or uh, a landscaper and you want to show the different types of uh, landscaping products or services that you offer. Maybe you could have a picture of an aerator, a lawnmower, uh, an item that does like seating and stuff like that. So it doesn't work for just products. It can be services too, but it seemed to have a lot better um, results when this was product-based. We did create this for a lot of different e-com products over the last year, um, and they seem to work well across the board. Okay, uh, ad style number two. This is an animated book or ebook ad, which I'll play here. And um, this was for a uh, the Bible for Entrepreneurs by Founder Magazine. Really cool brand that we've we've worked with over the uh, past couple of years, off and on. And and uh, I'm a big supporter of them as well. So what we did here was we just took a basically a flat uh, PDF from them worked it into a 3D book mock-up, and then we used After Effects to actually flip through the pages and make it all look like it's kind of opening and closing. Um, not a lot of advanced techniques on this, but great for any kind of uh, multi-page book or booklet or PDF giveaway, stuff like that. So um, we even, at the beginning here, just to, just to add some more effect, had the different headshots sliding in here to fill up the circles. Um, some people may ask, well, didn't this get flagged for too much text? And uh, again, it's uh, 
it's only the thumbnails they read in video files. So if you're unaware of that, it's it's not the text on the screen the whole time. It's just the thumbnail image that you upload that they're actually reading text for. This is one of my favorite uh, styles here. This isn't very advanced. There's not a whole lot to it, but uh, ad style number three is the product highlights ad. And in this video, we, um, we drew, I guess you can see them on my screen here, but we have dashed lines that are following all the seams around the, the legs uh, of the jeans. And then we have lines coming out from different areas here that are highlighting different um, features of these jeans. This was, uh, I think the company was Minimal, M-N-M-L. Um, they had some really cool different jean products and stuff that they sold. And we basically just took this from a static photograph. There's no video files or anything else included. And then we just added in these uh, lines around the seams to kind of grab the attention of people. Just uh, We actually had the first line come in almost immediately and said distress details so that, that there's a uh, immediate movement and it catches your eye. This is uh, only a six second video. So this would actually auto loop on Facebook. I think it's uh, still anything under like 30 seconds uh, auto loops. I, I haven't actually looked at that for a while, but before it used to be you, you uh, uploaded stuff that was short and it would just auto loop automatically. So somebody that was looking at this would actually keep seeing it play over and over. Uh, I did put a, oops, a uh, disclaimer on this this particular one. This is uh, ad style number four, custom video holder. Um, and I only put the disclaimer in there because I know somebody will say, well, did you get permission to uh, post this or make this or whatever for movement? No, I did not. Uh, I've purchased a lot of product from them and uh, I'm a big supporter of their brand. So I whipped this up really quick just using a stock photo, um, but then I showed some of their products in here. This was not advertised anywhere. They did not contract or hire me. So it's never been seen anywhere uh, on the internet except my own sharing here. So what I did here was actually designed um, this, whole, this whole graphic. This is a 1920 by 1080 or a 16 by nine uh, aspect ratio, which is the same size as a, as a standard video. And then uh, I did some cutout here so it looked like her arm was actually overlapping this video. And I put a video placeholder here with a pink border to kind of draw attention to this. So this would be really, really cool for anybody that's got products uh, they want to sell online or even services. And um, across the bottom here, the, the uh, thumbnail images of the products, the watches will change throughout the video. So you have the opportunity here to create like a branded video template or, or a placeholder like this for your company. You can show any kind of video here that you want and you can actually animate the bottom footer uh, line here and show different products. I think this is really cool. I don't know how effective this is uh, because this video was kind of long, but I think for uh, a warmer audience or just boosting posts to your uh, current followers, I think it would be really effective. Animated pop-up style ad. This is ad style number five. This was, uh, again, not a lot of advanced level work here, but we focused on a lot of moving elements and we really wanted to just get attention immediately. So uh, right off the bat, we have this cut out of a, of a row of homes in a neighborhood pop up and then it's overlaid by a bright yellowish green um, filter here. We have the sold signs coming down here. And then uh, Christina El Musa pops up here. And this was for uh, a national seminar thing they were doing to uh, teach about real estate. So this is a, a very short 12 second video. I, I like to just call these animated style videos um, all done from Photoshop and then brought in After Effects to actually make the moving pieces. but. Very, very simple. Uh, lots of bright color and contrast here. And um, just some, some little effects down here like that, the sold signs. 
We also have her, since she was a featured speaker, we cut her out and, and put her in here as well. So this um, this would be great for, for really any kind of offering. It doesn't have to be <clears throat> service specifically or product or anything like that. It can be really for anything. Um, ad style number six, this is a cinemagraph. I, I've always loved these. I think they're really uh, creative. What we did here was we actually took just a picture of this book and um, we removed the ocean and put our own ocean footage in place. And that actually runs as a uh, video file. And you could technically run this as a, as a GIF file as well. Um, but this has our super, super eye-catching and appealing uh, way about it. So when somebody sees this, they're like, well, the heck am I looking at here? This is a book, but it's moving. The, the cover's moving. Uh, you can do this for anything. So there are uh, programs out there. I think one is called Platograph or something like that. There's several um, iPhone and Android apps that can make these now that can actually make fake cinemagraphs that look like they, they're, they're moving, but they're actually taking uh, static images and adding effects to it for the illusion of movement. So really cool way if you want to uh, freeze certain things like the clouds are frozen and everything is frozen on the book, but the, the ocean is moving, the waves, um, you can do that in some of these phone apps. Uh, ad style number seven, rotating speakers ads. These, This was a, a really unique uh, design for us, and uh, this was for Social Ad School. One of our customers here was a speaker for the event, so uh, we helped to make this. But you can see here they just basically are, are spinning around a circle. They have, uh, every time it rotates, you have these lines pop out and, and uh, circles just to kind of uh, add some more elements to it. And then the speaker's names are, are rotating along the bottom as well that go with each person's uh, headshot here. So if you have an upcoming uh, event, so you have a lot of speakers and you want to show them all in, in a single creative, this would be a really good way to do it. I'll play it once more here. Uh, that way you don't have to have a, a really long carousel ad or a um, long drawn out video ad. You could just do something simple like this that rotates around and shows all the speakers and their names. Ad style number eight. This is a, an animated book, an ebook ad again, like uh, the ad style number two, but it's much more advanced. I'll just mute that. But this is also for Founder as well. Um, <clears throat> we've taken another PDF file and basically mocked it up into uh, a real magazine like this and have a bunch of moving pieces. You can find templates online for stuff like this in After Effects. Um, <clears throat> we had the free, let me go back here, free magazine ribbon here. So that stays stationary for quite some time throughout the video um, to just reinforce the message or the uh, point of this ad. And then of course they're showing different parts of the pages starts to go a little quicker. It's not really meant for somebody to actually read. We don't want to give them all that information. But then the hand pulls it away and we reveal the logo at the end. So there are um, <clears throat> templates out there that can make these. You just kind of copy and paste in the different pages and the, and the mock-up uh, into the mock-up and, and the software does the rest. And of course, we added this ourselves and the logo in. Um, again, this is great for any kind of multi-page product or a PDF that you want to give away, and you just want a really creative way to show it in an ad. It really beats just pasting in a, a static picture of a book or a booklet. Ad style number nine, this is a rotating product ad. Uh, we put this together for the Sam's Club employee buying program with TrueCar. They're partnered with Sam's on this. Um, and then this was, a, this was definitely an interesting uh, take at an ad, but you know, normally they could put products or stuff like this on a spinning table, not a car, but though they do have them for cars as well. I've seen them, but 
uh, small products, you put them on like a spinning table and have it spin around while you capture 360 degree video. Uh, in this particular case, they had taken tons of photographs of every angle imaginable here of the cars. And then we had to stitch them all together and make a uh, rotating 360 degree animation of these different cars. So this would be really cool. Any kind of products that you have, you can um, do this exact same thing, just using a tripod and slightly spinning around the product a little bit at a time and capturing photo after photo, and then use a, a video editing program to actually piece them all together. We also have the animated style uh, text here appearing and dropping. And uh, these are just ways to grab attention and kind of quickly summarize the ad offer. So you'll notice right away when you hit play, it's already a bunch of moving stuff to grab attention. And then uh, just kind of summarizing the offer. It's only seven seconds long, so it does auto loop on Facebook and Instagram. And then uh, finally, ad style number 10. This is a video ad. This is more of an advanced level ad that we've designed from uh, nothing but product photos. So play this here. I'll let the music go just so you can hear it. So these were, uh, it looked like almost all product photos. I think there may have been one or two uh, stop motion uh, files that we worked into this. But everything is, is uh, photographs. There's no high-end video footage or anything like that. Um, and then we have the messaging throughout while we're showing different parts of uh, their products. They have some really awesome lifestyle pictures um, that they provided us. And I'll mute this here now. Play it again. We use a ton of bright colors here to grab attention. Um, <clears throat> we use grid style layouts for showing different pictures like this. A lot of movement. So, I mean, the goal here was, was obviously to grab attention immediately on social media, but then to keep that attention, we had a lot of uh, moving pieces and animations and different lines of text popping up that have to talk about um, the product benefits and stuff like that and a call to action right at the end here. So, uh, you know, again, with, with stuff like this, when you want to create video ads, you don't need high-end uh, video footage or commercial style production work. I mean, you can still get away with putting in a bunch of different nice lifestyle pictures or, or product shots like this. Uh, even if you take them from your iPhone, it's better than nothing. So we do a ton of video work like this for co uh, companies and brands that don't have video. And it definitely works. Um, ideally, at the end of the day, the more professional the videos and the more thought up uh, ideas and storyboards, they're going to probably be your best bet. But if you just don't have the budget for stuff like that, this is your backup option and it's still a very good one. So I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing these 10 creatives. These were done again over the last year or so. Um, maybe some of them may have been a little longer, but they were uh, creative ideas that we'd come up with we thought worked really well and that I think could help inspire people for 2020 here. If you have any questions, again, just comment below and thanks so much for watching.